imagine a farming system with no negative impact on the soil, with free, with low arable extension and even less water. Indifferent to unfavorable climatic conditions, plague free and whose high quality products show a stable development, rich in aroma, color and flavor. You could think this in a dream or a science fiction script, but it isn't. This type of agriculture exists and its origin date back too long ago. In present day, this type of agriculture is called hydroponics but it is also known as hydroponic farming. Our Aztec ancestors farmed their vegetables in Chinampas in the Texcoco Lake, which is known as Mexico City. There's still a Chinampa farming in Texcoco, especially flowers. In modern days, some mineral elements the Aztecs didn't use in the process are add, for they use mud from the bottom of the lake, which is rich in nutrients. It was until the 20th century that redefined techniques were developed. Some say hydroponic farming is the agriculture of the future, though in some places it has been used for more than 60 years. The term comes from the Greek hydros, water, and pornos, works. Hydroponics is a farming method based on the water mineral solution system of soil, in addition to a substrate which replaces soil for the roots to clean the container holding it, as it protects from light, contains nutrients, and provides the plant with proper oxygenation. This type of agriculture is also known as soilless farming, and it is not only cheap and green, but also allows to have a specific control on what is produced. It is used frequent in the production of tomato, lettuce, and a wide variety of vegetables, and it is very practical for family gardens. A classic example of home hydroponics is the bean experiment some of us did in the elementary school, in which, due to the seed's dimension, we could witness the plant's growth. But waiting for the plant to produce enough for a nice plate of refried beans would be a little tedious. Due to its effectiveness and environmentally friendly characteristics, this system generates a brief growth period, in some cases development time in 60% shorter than the use in soil. As much as the name of this technique suggests related to water, it actually should be named aeroponics. This is using air, for what is the main catalyst for plant growth is light. Light provides a luminous medium parable for its development and growth. Products harvested through this system offers not only the advantage of an accelerated evolution, but also a more uniform constitution of plants and vegetables, better flavor and an intense aroma. It is important to point out that hydroponic cropping has demonstrated the viability in water saving and low impact in the environment, and it doesn't imply the use of pesticides and fertilizers. These fertilizers are the same used in the traditional farming, but in a minimal amounts and diluted in water. The right nutrients for these crops are calcium, copper, sulfur, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, nitrogen, iron, etc. These are provided through continued watering, which happens because the roots are in contact with the water. Minerals get to the plant through a series of compounds like calcium nitrate, provides nitrogen and calcium, but the oxygen is provided by the water and CO2. This technique sets a constant level of humidity to the roots despite water or growth stage. As the substrate is water, risk of excessive irrigation is reduced and through this, needless waste and use of the fertilizers. In addition, there is an improvement in farming air performance and reduces potential problems for soil pathogens. From a school bean to quality crops, keeping all the characteristics that makes us try them, the hydroponics is the future at our tables. We encourage you to follow our weekly clips. Discover, share and comment, all with vitamin C.